Welcome back to the Black Parade Mission 4, Destiny. About to say 5, but it's actually Mission 4. Okay, so we've got two ways we can go here. Oh, is our Hammer Haunt friend also patrolling this? I don't know. Stairs, he's just coming from. So this is traps, right? So let's be careful. I know it quick save twice in a row there. But like, the hammer horn's not setting up any traps. Hello? That's a mosaic. I can't safely read if that horn comes in here. And so did for toil on a mighty blade would keep unruly dead docile. If he doesn't come in here, I'm okay. Alright, sorry. Let's get back to our poetry reading. Before we were so rudely interrupted. And so did we toil on a mighty blade would keep unruly dead docile, yet our burdens weighted too heavy upon us. Ronin, the keeper of Grimworth, has failed to give the final blessings to the merchant prince and spent his last days atoning for his sins. I get the feeling Hume doesn't like poetry much. Anton, the keeper of Albrecht, did not, keeping his daily prayers before the builder's shrine and died a heretic. <sighs> in his foolishness, Ulf, the keeper of Noirequi, did lose his holy tool in the fiery demon's domain and continue his work, could not. Trendor, the keeper of Belor, was the most devoted to his duty, yet too devoted he was, starving to death in his toils. <sighs> so, right, these are the people building parts of this place, I guess. Now it is only I who remain, Alaris, the last keeper of the Holy Forge. <sighs> Alright, well, it doesn't sound like... Uh, you know... Actionable information, as they say. Like glows, but is not loot. Shoot. Ah. All right. I think I'm... Shit, shit, shit. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Let's try again without that. I didn't realize there were two of them, that's the problem. No one goes up down the stairs, and there's another one out here that I was not expecting to see. So he doesn't come to this corner. Okay, they both just kind of patrol out that way somewhat. I don't know where to hide that. I can't really make move. Uh, 
Here he comes. No, he's going there. Oh. Was X mean undead? Down means traps, right? There's traps that way. Where did the other haunt go? I'm not in here. Maybe through here. Old fireplace. Oh god, this place is just a maze. Did you see another undead there? Okay, so he went that way, not this way. Oh. Let's so say this place looks familiar. Hang on, that was an up arrow. Doesn't up arrow mean it's safe? Yeah, he's a... Look at that liar. There's a bloody trap there. Is that a statue? Okay, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. That leads look and get perfectly stuck on this. Between the statue. There we go. Between the fence and the statue. Right, so I did briefly see where know where we are because of the Bill or name, right? But Although maybe... Was this be where we found the... Block? And the hammerite block thing there? Maybe? This would be the staircase that the haunt was going up and down. This was the big room. Seems possible. That doesn't really help me. Oh my god, this mission needs an auto map. Even if just the Thief 1 styles to say, yeah, this is actually where you are, you know, you followed this passage. Just this is... There's no fucking landmarks, it's just shapes. Traps in here, apparently. Well, if this is a trap, it's the tra kind of trap I want. Healing potion trap. Oh yeah, we were talking about the Romans. Here's some Roman mosaics. They're obviously a cannon. What's going on in here? Some enormous bones. How is this room trapped? These scouts don't know what they're talking about after all. Oh, that one's trapped. Not this one. Fair enough. Eh. The mummies are... Uh, I don't like them as a concept. Not, not that they're scary. They're less scary. They're just like... This is very cheesy. I don't like, don't like them in my... Concept of the city. Hello. Interesting places both up and down here. This is a big room. Oh, this is what we saw from uh, below, right? That I said looked significant. And that's what's broken down, fallen down. Okay, so this must be this big room here, I think. Or this big room here. Or they're the same. Overlapping. Potentially that could be the bottom, this is the upper level. Should we put us... 
We just came from the northeast. We've got exits west and south. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So... This is the bridge. The bright br the lit brightly lit bridge. Okay. Back on back on the map. This is the uh, lower here and upper here. Collapsed. Tower bit. And here's the tower. Okay. The Eldritch extension is to the west. On the other hand, we have all sorts of other objectives we need to get to as well. Hang on, I'm going to go up to the tower bit because that looks readable. Is, but why would I want to be here looking at a giant flame? Am I supposed to put it out? Maybe. Maybe there's some special. What are you holding there? Torch. Right. Okay, so we came north out of here, right? Did that not... Oh. What? Oh, they put a custom font on here that doesn't have the vertical pipe, so I can't do my normal markings. Well, I guess we'll do that, right? We've got the kind of drawbridge. Is that to be on... Any other map here? No, not really. So we're back off the map again. <laughs> cool. Fine, I guess. going southwest, we could be going east, we could be going north out the gate. None of these seem obviously like where we need to be. Southwest might let us see this. Probably overlooks that stairway. Right? <laughs> That at least is my guess. forward slash as well. So here we have an apparition and here we have an overlook. Alright. And this way we've got crossbow haunt. He was been walking for a bit there. That's the brightly lit bridge. What's he doing there? So we also have an overlook coming out this way, right?
Yeah, that's right where the bridge goes at. Okay. Just sit right here. What's lighting me up? Really, that? I play it. I mean, we've got 17 more arrows. We can. No, it's probably this fire. Really illuminating the room. Okay, we've got a big waterfall. Staircase waterfall. You know what? That's that's a good. And then if we go north. Up here we got staircase waterfall. Alright, which might be this. Maybe not. Let's show you a pond. Yeah, that's that's, that's got to be down there, right? That's got to be down below us. Where's sort of this area, maybe? Hmm. I have another zombie friend. He seems to be wanting to come our direction. Yeah, that really looks like this staircase here. Hmm, no, but then... Then there would be an exit, a way to the entrance there. It's not the same place. Nice little goblin above there. So where is this? And this staircase goes south. Mosaics. You, you're different looking. You're different looking. Just a bit of skulls, huh? That feels like it might be a secret door, but who knows? You can hide secret doors anywhere in a place like this. We have a Chandelier of bones. It's very cool. That's the uh What? I don't remember seeing any chandeliers of bones in uh a game before. I've seen one in real life. <laughs> Which usually makes a difference. You usually you see all the weird the weird bones stuff in uh in video games, not in real life. Well, this is one hell of an ossuary. Okay, I'm going to try climbing this, because I think we can get up here. I'm going to explore what, what's happening with our zombie friend down below. <sighs> In a minute. <sighs> he said very narrow, so you have to carefully step back. That looks like we can get out there. <sighs> okay. Well, we could indeed get up here. Uh, we kept going south from. 
Yeah, I don't know where we are now. I want. I really want to also oh, ring. Okay, no, this is that must be where we are. That's the staircase. Right. I guess there's just multiple levels. That was the staircase. Because we came south from here, so here there's a zombie, right? This is a zombie lady. We'll just say a dead lady. Okay. Voices I heard. Poor coit. I just can't believe I am working to earn. You look tired, Manfred. How did you deduce that? How can you even sleep in this place? What do you mean? You know, I ain't the type to get my knickers all twisty, but all these noises down here give me the taff and shivers, mate. Don't tell me you're afraid of them nearby catacombs. Wish I shared that counter girl's bedroom upstairs instead of having nightmares and looking behind my back every time I hear something. What's he doing? Pockets will Perhaps he's just lost or repeat. Okay, we've got to... Uh... Wait a minute. That is not... The Tomb Robbers. So many creeps around. Ah. I'm hearing a roulette table too. Overpriced boots. Overpriced everything. Okay, so this is up from the ossuary. Up from ossuary to road stand, <laughs> I guess. I mean, it can't be more specific than that, right? I wonder if that's open somehow. Well, this is going back down. This is not... Not promising. Well, we've got a golden casket. Somebody carelessly left open. I wanna I wanna go back up and explore what's up with those rogues. The hallway of boobs. It's not the stairway that we came up. No. I don't know where that is. I don't know where anything is. Oh, maybe it is. There's no waterfall though. But there is that fireplace up there. There's a lot of those. Boobs would be a good landmark, except I don't know where it is. So. And they obviously bricked up this. Oh wait, maybe this moves? Something here has got to open. Ah, oh, wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice to have... ...some kind of light for searching for our secret switches? Might be a switch on top of this beam. No. Sneezed. Well, it must have been dusty up there. So I just wail on this and hope they hear it. Oh, well, that's not a door then. 
Maybe I can't get out there, but it seems suspicious, you know. Very suspicious. All right, I'll avoid making noise. How am I supposed to protect my girls with so many creeps around? So let's try going back down this way because I can get back down here more safely, I think, than, uh, than trying to get down the ossuary. Although, maybe that one's the door. No, that looks thoroughly collapsed, even if it was. I'm going to say I can get down here more safely. I can drop onto that and then drop from there down below, right? Well, that wasn't quite how I planned to do it, but it... I guess it works. Right. Back here at Lady Zombie Place. Okay. Yeah, and here's the bone pit. Bone pit. Big thing. Sorry, I didn't mean, didn't mean to make noise and disturb you there. There's nothing to worry about. Don't mind me. This place is really cool. Although it feels like the interior of a... Uh, It doesn't feel like a uh, interior of a tomb slash ossuary so much as the interior of an abandoned, like, uh, kind of French manor house. There's nothing, you heard nothing. Still heard nothing. You're, you're imagining it all, man. <sighs> what was a hammer chapel I haven't been to? I'm overlooking the we're right, going to be going north Hello. rope arrow okay going north from the zombie lady right we're going up here we're overlooking this although the map doesn't exactly match Right, so this is the hammer, hammer vine chapel. We'll call it to recognise it later. Wow, too many floors up and down. I think I've been up there, but I'm not sure. How is one ever supposed to keep you straight where you've been and where you haven't been? <laughs> North. So hang on, I can't. Uh... We came from there. This is the V. So east from the V. Okay, we can get to the upper tombs, back out to the upper tombs this way. Safe, but there's undead. Alright. Um, this is this room, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess there are undead. Oh! Right, we've been here before. I came and looked down here. 
when I came in here. This is where I left my rope. Not that I need it. Hello, who are you? Are you alive or dead? <laughs> Recently undead? You don't look rotted much. Ah, that's where I fell down. Trying to get here. Okay. Wait, you weren't there when I came through, because I came here and jumped over there, and then I failed jumping back. You're new. You're new, and it makes me suspicious. Hmm. Right, this is a little hammer chapel. Hammer alcove. Two upper tombs, okay. Are we on the map here, though? I really don't know, but uh, I really don't remember where I've been either. Well, I don't think I came this way. Yes, I did come this way. Let's put the candle out there. Did I go this way? Yes. Okay. Th okay. So this is the jail. We'll make that as jail, right? So we're here. Okay. So if I go around here... Well, this shows that... I'm not sure the staircase which doesn't exactly match this one. But I have been here. this whole way. Oh, this is the this is the upper jail. This is an upper and lower jail. Right, this is the upper jail. Because that's the stairway on the east. Okay. Although it's not 100% the same. It's a little confusing. Okay, and this is this place. We got to from the red cave, so instead of the red cave, if I continue down these stairs, we can maybe see the rest of these rooms. I'm sure it'll connect. I also have some digging was happening, right? There's nothing else there. South was that guy, west. We came down these stairs. West is to the Grimworth extension? Swimming possible. But I'm stuck Hume, get your nose off there. Why don't you mantle that? Are going to be stuck in here because of a mantle problem? That's going to suck. Okay, we can climb on this. Now. Did I miss any other water crystals? No, I don't think so. Ugh. Or 
Alright, so this is the Grimoire's extension. Let's try it up first. Let's go take it to the top down. Oh, hello. Perhaps that way. Well, this is the top. At least as far as we're reaching. Perhaps, huh? Grimworth. Another one of those rotating statues, is it? I don't see any trap emitters, but uh, there's also no guarantee of lack of traps. Rubier Jacques Grimworth, Merchant Prince. Stay, stranger, and shed a tear, for the good Grimworth lieth here. He was a gentle man of good life, married Rosa Felton as his wife. He may thank the builder he got her. She bore him a son and a daughter. His son was a strong man of might, for which King Roland made him knight. His daughter was both wise and daring, and married was she to Georg de Perrin. Georg? It's like short for George. Get this off my screen. Thank you. Yep, I was trapped. Wasn't super valuable either, but uh, maybe you should invest in better traps if you want to protect your grave goods. All right, let's keep going down. So Grimworth, we've done. There's zombies around here. Hello, have we been here? No, there's another bit with a uh, wooden plank that I am confusing this with. Hello, that's a long way down into water. Okay. I do like how collapsed this place is, it's very cool. Anything on those bits? No. Seems not worth my risking my legs to get there. Well, there may be those. Run back up the stairs a bit and have a look at those. Or can we not see those from here? We cannot see those from here, that's interesting. Ah. You can see them from here. Hello. Hmm. This feels like a bad idea. What's a bad idea? That jump went all sorts of wrong. Well, I guess we got here in the end. We're not dead. This was maybe an exit, maybe just a sealed vault, either way. Did that just spawn a zombie? I think it spawned a zombie there. Yeah, he was not there a minute ago. He's holding bits of bone. Pure fluke, I didn't get uh, shot there. That's that's what I call good stinkies, good instincts. <sighs> oh, 
wait, wasn't there a big statue there a second ago? Did the big statue just disappear? After firing off its traps and turning to the tiny one? What? That's weird. It's not what I would call spooky, just very weird. Hello, this is open. Can't see anything in it. Oh, all right, and that came back up here. All right. So coming on, carry on back down here means we will have covered that whole section. Boom! That's great. I like when it comes back to a branch which you meant to explore later and saves you the trouble. So from Grimsworth, we can drop into pool. It's a long drop, in fact. So is there anywhere here I didn't look? No. There's another... Fresh zombie lady. All these candles are hard to navigate around. Loot goal complete. Hello. That's where we came from, right? And this is I don't know. Oh, we were down there before. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is here, okay. This is where Lady Zombie was. Yeah, she's still here. Okay. So we are back here. Now I'm confused about what I'm trying to get to. Well, what I don't really remember is where we actually came from there. He's going to find me here. Let's make a move. So this is the entrance? This is the waterfall. Okay, this is the waterfall. I guess this was to the entrance at some point. I see. Might need to let this uh, guy lose us so we can go places without worrying about going into a dead end and having him coming behind. Which would just be inconvenient. Alright, he's going. He's going. Okay, so this western bit. This is to upper tombs. Uh, that's to Grimworth, right? This goes to Grimworth. Grimworth. Okay. Oh, there's a map of the Grimworth extension. I didn't even notice. Um. Well, it doesn't exactly match. So that's the Grimworth bit, and this is the pool, right? Here we can drop into pool. I think. And that's the way out. Okay. Or oh, that is the way out. I don't know. Alright. Grave Warden's Vigil. I don't know where that is. 
I mean, that rings a big bell. We did see a place shaped like that. Wait, is this... This is where the apparition was patrolling, right? Because I would duck into here to wait for it to go past. Yeah, so this is the this is the overlook in That's here. Grave Warden's visual. Okay. Overlook over the tower thing. Right, so where, so where, where are we right now? I mean, I could drop into the pool, that'd be one way to progress. That'd be a pretty awesome way to progress. You know what, I don't care, let's, we know where we are. We found, we've got a bunch of places we've annotated. That we know, that we know where, roughly where they are now. We can make progress. In the best possible way. Whee! That was one hell of a splash. That actually would have been a super cool way to end the episode. In midair. But it's 15 minutes too soon. So, let's just swim and see what this takes us. We did see some water in these caverns before, and it's probably connected. Either that, or this is just an underground cave with no way out, that humans can get through, it's, you know, pretty normal for underground caves, to be like that. There's a different waterfall. Yeah, we were here before. I did not look in the water there, so... Really missed some stuff. I would have expected a lot more bones to have washed down here, to be quite honest with you. This place seems to be collapsing. I don't think we climbed up here. Oh no, we did climb up here. Right, so there was another area down in this cave so we didn't climb through. I guess I want to see more of these caves. Or more of the connections out of them, I suppose. That's where we first came into the caves. Right, so here we are at the Hammer Haunts. This is the overlook. And this is that room. Right. So we've done Billor, right? We've robbed Billor. Southwest out of here was... That's our extension. Red. Is this Pazar? <sighs> Wait, I've been here. That's this room, right? Yeah, okay, so this is the haunt room. So if we go east through here... Here's the Pazar extension. This looks new. No, this is... No, we've been here. This is the arrow trap. And this chapel, which I forget where it connects to. I'm in the same area, right? With the haunts. Uh... Or the opposite side, I suppose. Oh, well, that's just here again. Okay. 
It all goes round. You seem unhappy. He did not react to that. I guess he's heard it a million times. Okay. That's bizarre. We've been to bizarre. So here's a dead guy. Dead guy with arrow. And this must this must be the, the building the builder block, right? I'll take the question mark off and I'll just erase in a minute. So southeast. This way. No, that's a different Hammer Chapel place I've not been to. Ah, holy water. Okay, okay, it's not the build a plot, but there's holy water here. In fact, right here. Holy font. Used used to writing all the sacred texts, of course. Does the hammerite come in here? I mean, you'd think this is a holy place, and they don't. But there's a dead guy here. Obviously, sought refuge and found little of it. Okay, from his last words. Barlow and Ernestine went to scout and explore a nearby Oubliette, but they never came back. They're too skilled to die to traps, so I came to the conclusion that they simply abandoned us. We decided to carry on after a while, but it was not to be. We saw Carlos get filled with the sharpest arrows I'd ever seen, coming from the walls of a room that was marked as safe. A moment later, Chauncey got ambushed and was slain by the restless dead, coming out of a room that was marked as safe as well. Then Nell panicked and started threatening me, saying it was all my fault. I tried to talk some sense into him, but I had no other choice but to strike him with my blade. I didn't kill him, but he was wounded and ran away. It's all clear now. The bastardly spawns of the trickster led us into a trap by intentionally mismarking some rooms, and now they are after the gemstone. They won't have it. There's no way they can figure out where it is, reach it, and get out alive. Their skills alone are not enough. This place is just too large, and if they don't fall to the dead, hunger, thirst, and treachery will eventually get them. If someone is unfortunate or foolish enough to venture in these dark halls and finds this journal, let it be the testament of a veteran grave robber. Never trust your companions, even when you are experienced. They will be your downfall. So Carlos was the dead guy we got there with the... Uh... We saw... I think we saw Chauncey, and maybe... We saw Carlos. He was the guy with the arrow on his back. That's actually pretty clever of them. I need to be even more careful now. Yep, I wasn't trusting the markings to begin with. I was just like... Oh, they've been here. That's about all that I trusted them to tell me. Okay, well, that's... So this is the dead. Grave robber. There's the Albrecht extension. We can go there. We do need it. And where was the... No, I, oh, we do kind of know this place, so I can find this, right? This is the overlooking the waterfall. The waterfall comes down here. So we know how to get back there. We go up here. Putting some more darkness in here is probably a good thing. So, um... Stairs to the east, apparently. Stairs of the haunts. Albrecht. Perhaps. There's an arrow trap back there as well, but I don't know what what happened to it. I guess we're gonna go. Uh, 
Okay, she's not coming in here. She's too smart for that. Well, these are not creepy statues at all. Uh. One after the famous Albrecht armor, right? I mean, that's not going to be on a statue. Oh. Feeling very Indiana Jones with those light reflections there. Oh, I've been here. Right, that's those are supposed to be blood stains, but their rest of physics is wrong. So they're uh, some resting on their side. I was wondering what those things were. I mean, they are blood stains. Okay. We've we been here. Okay, this is the explosives. I don't didn't mark that on my map. Um, you know, maybe I should remind myself where this connects to. That's one dead guy there, right? That we saw. Right, this is where the fall brought us down. It's underneath this place. This is the fall, right? This is the, the big... The fall. What's it called? The fall. <sighs> Alright, but this was connecting to somewhere else. <sighs> <sighs> that's that that's the place. That's this place. No, yes. East. Yeah, okay, so here is the explosives. And we have a way through here. Which goes to Outbreak, right? Outbreak is where we were. Okay. Alright. I fall down there. Okay. Now the Outbreak extension proper. This is a very Indiana Jones. Step into the lights and get something bad happen to you. I make that jump. I think I can make that jump. We could go down. I mean, I guess it's appropriate given that. Uh... Oh, okay, we can't open these from this side. Given that the Bone Horde also was, uh, had some very Indiana Jones inspired bits for sure. <sighs> it's just going to be arrows, right? Let's just test it out. Yeah, no problem. Down there is where we need to be anyway, so I guess we're going in here. This way. It's a big mushroom. Let's try not stepping in that. Hello. We can see inside from here, but we can't get inside. Can I see anything worth seeing? It doesn't really look like it. Alright, let's try climbing up this ledge. <sighs> Might be more than an arrow trap there. No, there's nothing here. Okay. <sighs> more of their statues. Oh, that's an awkward one, isn't it? 
Where is that going to shoot me from? Not sure. My bread. Use my healing potion. Not sure how I could have dodged that one. I guess moving on the outside would have been okay. I thought I was going to miss it. This is no good though. Oh, yes, it is. That'll do. At least. For starters. Well, we can get back out that way, right? I think. Maybe. We can get down. Just wood. This looks like wooden beams. Let's drop some rope in. Renault Sacre Albrecht, Chamberlain to the King. He lieth graven under this cold stone, Lord Renault Albrecht, both flesh and bone, Merchant Prince and Oldman, fifth, years fifty, Lord Mayor and twice Chamberlain truly. A good example by him may ye see that life is truly naught but vanity, for whether he be unknown or great, all shall eventually turn to worm's meat. That's the second time. Well, no, they've like had great and sweat running before, right? And this time it's great and meat. Hmm. Just trying to think about the etymology. Great and sweat. Maybe they're plausible. Great. And Great and meat, I don't think ever were in, in the same root or had rhyming uh, endings. Whoa! Well, I picked the right angle to. I saw like saw arrow just got go straight past my left cheek and right cheek. <laughs> oh, it's nice and bright now. I guess I figure. Once the armor's been taken, good job to the winner. <sighs> and they don't need the traps anymore. What is this? Oh, it's just those. We can't get through there. But we can get through here. I can just use it. I don't even have to bash it with my sword. How nice. How pleasant. All right, Albrecht's done. Where are we? All right. Um, so if we go back up these stairs, where do they come out? I'm not sure. I mean, here, obviously. Where I want to be is the floor above. I want to go and get to the Noire Queer extension, the other objective, before we get going to the Aldrius tomb, because I think the Aldrius tomb will be probably somewhat climactic. Oh, we've got my mummy coming this way. Alright, I'll just let it go past, I suppose. Now, have I been this way? No. I've been above here, right? I've not been down at this level. That looks like a golden skull in there. Yeah, that's the brightly lit, lit bridge above me. Oh, it's hot. 
I suppose that makes sense. I don't have any more healing potions or food. <laughs> Mushroom skull. Man, wouldn't you like to have a hat like that in your life? How trendy. I could do with some more healing. That was rather more... Damage. Bits. Rather more damage than I would have liked. So... That's this way that I came, right? It doesn't look like it actually. This is going southeast. Yeah, I guess it must be. Oh, there is the stairs. Oh, that's the archer that was shooting arrows at me. Where are we? This is a collapsed column. Oh right, this is this room again. So that's just dead east from this room. No. That's here, that's here. There's a big collapsed column. And the hammer chapel, yeah, yeah, Okay, so there's just an extra way through that wasn't marked. Oh, shit. Huh? Oh. Oh, you know that life and death thing? What am I going to do here? What if I use my spirit potion? Is it going to make me invisible? It says it should make me invisible but that moved too fast, right? I won't go that way, but that's mines. Okay. <sighs> the spirit person just wore off. Oh, he's actually shooting, look at that. Shooting the arrows and putting a new one in. That's very cool. That's a, that's a sort of remarkable detail to actually do that with the statue. There's no need for that detail when you're not watching the statue reload when you're getting hit by traps, really. Come on, shoot him again. Oh, good to know there's some protection against the zombies here. Yeah. Alright. More traps this way. Oh, maybe not. Can't trust the signs. We never really good. That's a trap if I ever saw one, right? Or it's just a wobbly skull. Can we get over here? No. Is there a reason to be in this room? Maybe. I can't see it if there is one unless it's in here. No loot at all in here. Well, inconveniently, that zombie's now going the way I want to go. I guess we're following.
Alright, so we come up these stairs. So I guess we're in this room. North and west exits. Yeah. Let's call this the blood tiles room here. This is blood and missing tiles. You're not coming this way, are you? Oops. Okay, so there's a haunt in this zone, but I think this zone is going to get me back where I want to be. On the other hand, I don't know where this haunt is going. And on the other, other hand... It's been an hour. And ten. So I think this is where we're going to have to end the episode. So... Thanks for watching, and... Uh, when you come back, we'll keep exploring this... Build a forsaken place. Oh, hi, mommy. I'll see you there for that.